welcome to another weekend vlog. I am about to dry my hair. This is just air dried and I just got the Dyson air wrap so I'm very intrigued and excited to try that out. And then I'm filming a bronzy bridal makeup tutorial, a favorites video, and then I have to get ready for um, dinner and a concert that I'm going to tonight. So that'll be exciting. Some laundry set out here and then this is my outfit that I've laid out for today. So this is the air wrap. I've been wanting this for about a year, but I kind of talked myself out of it. I bought the Revlon dry brush, but that just gets so incredibly hot. It actually melted my extensions off my head before. I finally decided to make the splurge and get this. This was not sent to me. I bought it with my own money. So I will tell you all my thoughts and opinions and I thought I could give you like my first impression of it today. So I got the full kit. These are all of the attachments here. So here it is in this box, which that's actually pretty cute. Ooh, I've actually never seen it in person. I've only ever seen it online. So there's this little, like a regular brush head. Got one of these. This one, two different sizes for these. Then the regular dryer head and this part so i think i don't know i guess i'll just go play with it my hair is like 90 percent dry um but i know they say it should be damp i feel like it should have probably been a little bit more damp than this but whatever it is what it is so um let's go try this out i am due to get my hair done I'm going on thursday and today is friday so one more week and i have to be very careful with my extensions because they are do to be taken out okay so i have no idea what i'm doing away from the face there are oops there are arrows on this which show which way to go so this is pointing this way so this i'm guessing goes here so I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to why don't we go back to Honestly, I'm open wide I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom Wow, I'm like, I'm so impressed. I didn't know that I'd be able to ever like do my hair like this. And technically I didn't, the air wrap did it for me. Um, the only spot is right here. It's tricky to, this side did it just fine. It went right into it, but I've got these broken hairs and they're really tricky to hide. And for some reason that side was trickier to do the front. Let's see what the back looks like. I actually have no idea. Ooh. Wow, so impressed. So, okay, I'm gonna come in the daylight because I just think everything looks better in front of a window. I cannot believe that I just did that with that. So freaking impressed. Well, cool, I'm gonna keep playing around with this. If you guys want me to eventually do a tutorial using that, let me know. I mean, that was kind of a tutorial, but it was more of like a first impression, trying it out for the first time kind of thing. But I'd like to try different attachments, get different looks with it and go from there and see but like i don't even want to go through it with a flat iron like i normally would that was amazing i'm so excited 
Um, okay, I'm gonna go and do my makeup for a video. I'm gonna do like a bronzy bridal look, which is perfect because I have like very brighty kind of hair. And then a favorites video. So I need to set up for filming. I already set out all the makeup I think I'm gonna use. Don't mind this mess. All of this is returns that I need to send back to Revolve. And then that's like winter stuff that needs to go up in the attic. Quickly just gonna pop in my earrings. Cause I just feel, feel weird if I don't have on jewelry. <laughs> Which is funny, I used to be the total opposite. I used to hate wearing jewelry, but I just like very simple stuff. Wow, this hair. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do my makeup and see what it looks like. Man, I'm hot. My face is like really red, but... Okay, I'm gonna go and film, and then I'll check in with you after. Okay, I just finished filming my makeup tutorial. I'm gonna get closer. Actually, let me go into the daylight so you can see what it looks like. I did this very like smoky bronzy bridal look this is like one of my favorite makeup looks to do it's just a good go-to bronzy look so um hair still looking good i am noticing that it's falling but i also didn't uh like spray it with anything so i just have to take some pictures with the big camera i took a bunch of selfies with my cell phone um, did I just call it a cell phone? I haven't said cell phone in a long time, but I just took some pictures of my makeup with my phone. Now I'm gonna take some more professional ones with my camera. Sometimes, like, not sometimes, every time I do a video, I take pictures with both, just because, you know, sometimes you can get a better picture on the professional camera, sometimes it's just better on the phone, and it just depends on the vibe I'm going for, if I want something that looks more professional or something more relaxed. I'm just setting up for my favorites video, so I just have some stuff pulled here. I have to go downstairs and grab some stuff, but yeah, I'm gonna go and film that now, and then I'll see you after. Fuck. Okay. Where did I, oh, there we go. I'm like, where did I put my computer? Ugh. This is like Ruben's hub. He does like all of his estimates in here and I thought I would edit in this room, but I don't. <laughs> Maybe if it was like clean and organized, I would, but it's just a hot mess. So you gotta get this figured out. Okay, so I didn't film product shots for my favorites video. I should have, but I'm just not in the mood to do it right now. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow I will. Good job. Okay, so I'm gonna now upload everything onto my computer. I have this keto cup, which has very, very minimal, limited ingredients. I usually don't like anything that is marketed as being keto because most of those companies are just trying to profit off of the industry and they fill it with a bunch of erythritol and sugar alcohols and stuff that's going to completely tear up your stomach and make you feel like shit. This is the only thing I've ever found that has very limited ingredients. They're ingredients that I know I should actually try to remake this myself so I'm not spending so much money on these keto cups um, because the ingredients are so straightforward that I could totally make them myself so it's just a coconut cup they have different flavors but the original is my favorite it's just like it looks like a big giant Reese's cup but it's not peanut butter it's coconut butter it's so good and then I just eat it with one strawberry well that's the inside mm -mm -mm. so it kind of gets a little dry so that's why I go in with the strawberry kind of at the end of my bite because then it kind of like juices it up and sweetens it up. I know, kind of weird little concoction, but I love it. It's, this is what I have for dessert every night. Zara order just came in. I thought I'd show you what I got. I got this really cute like suede shirt thing. Oh, that's really cute. I got this really cute Everlast sweatshirt. Cause you know, I've been kickboxing. So I thought that was cute. Just a nice comfy sweatshirt. I'm, I always love getting just any kind of sweatshirt, sweatpants, loungewear. That's like my favorite thing to buy. And then I got this little, I got this set, which is a crop t-shirt. 
with the matching sweatpants. It's like a purpley pink tie-dye. So that's that. And then I got these shoes, which I hope they fit. I got a seven and a half because I feel like lately when I've been buying shoes, I don't know if it's that my feet are just getting bigger or shoes in general are smaller. Maybe it's the size or the style of shoe. I don't know. So I got these in a, I think a seven and a half. Yeah. So, and normally I'm a six and a half. So I'll try them on. Hopefully they're not too big. I love this. Let me go show you in here. Isn't that just so cute? I feel like they don't match for some reason. Like, this has more pink in it, but whatever. Super, super cute. And these are a medium. Sweatpants are really tricky for me because I'm very thick in the thigh and butt area. So, a lot of sweatpants are very straight because a lot of people don't want like overly baggy stuff. But it doesn't work when you're curvier because then it's like skin tight around those areas. So this actually fits me perfectly. Oh, this is so cute. So I got this in a small. See how like stuff is just sized so differently? It just depends on the, the item and where you're shopping and stuff. So, ooh, the only thing that's missing with this is a front pocket. I like hate wearing purses. So anytime I can have a front pocket, I'm happy that I can just load everything in my little kangaroo pouch. Super, super cute. I actually, let's see, because I like this little, this thing thing. Super, super cute. And I feel like I'm allowed to wear it now that I've been kickboxing. It's a little bit large. What size? I think I got a size small in this. But I think this might actually be cuter with it open. I just only have a bra on, so I'm not leave it like this okay this for sure would definitely need to be worn as more of like a jacket tank top underneath and just kept it open i think that would be cuter and see what these look like oh uh, no well i don't know they feel kind of large seem a little big i have a little on the back but i don't know what do you guys think They seem a little bit big, but also it seems like it would work. I don't know. Is it worth the hassle of like returning and exchanging and all that kind of stuff? I don't know. I just put this crop top on really quick because I'm going to be changing and figuring out what to wear. I kind of planned on wearing some flare jeans. These are my A Goldie like cross ones. I have this really cute leather blazer that I got from Zara. I thought that was cute. I got my bag. That would be extra cute if I could wear like these sandals with it. What I planned on wearing with that outfit was these platform high top Converse. So you'd only see like that part though. So I don't know. I wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page Okay, so I just quickly refreshed my hair with the air wrap just because a lot of it had fallen because I don't have hairspray. It looks so good. So I'm gonna show you my outfit because my friends are about to be here. So I have on this t-shirt from Topshop. Oh, I need to fix this one strand of hair. I'll do that in a second. Um, I have on this t-shirt from Tasha, Tasha. I have on this t-shirt from Topshop. The top of it is a little distressed. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's just a black loose t-shirt and I have it tucked into these jeans. These are the denim forum. I don't remember the style. Oh, Yoko, the Yoko straight leg. I'll link them down below. Then I have on my gray platform converse and I wanted to wear sandals, but I think it's just going to be a little bit too cold tonight. It's going to be like 70 degrees all weekend, but Tonight, it's gonna be pretty cold. It's only like 50 right now and it's 6.30, so it's gonna get to like 
think like 35 degrees. I think I'll be a little cold. So let me put on my coat and my purse. Okay, so I just popped on my jacket. This is from All Saints. Hi, baby. Hi, girl. Do you see in my outfit? She knows I'm leaving. She can hear me put my clothes on. I'm sorry, I'm leaving. I love you. And then I just have on my, what is this called? Louis Vuitton something or other. I used to know the name of it. So I'm just gonna fix this one strand. Okay, okay. I think I am set to go. So I'm so excited for today. Uh, this is gonna be the first day that I try out M Sculpt and M Sculpt Neo. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions so that I could ask Dr. Dreyfus himself what the questions were that you guys had because I've done quite a bit of research on it but you guys have no idea what it is which is kind of exciting because I've never done anything like this before so hopefully this can be like very informational if this is something that you are looking into. So basically what M-Sculpt is, is they put these plates on your stomach and it contracts your stomach muscles. And I think it's only 30 minutes long and it's the equivalent of doing 20,000 crunches. It not only like sculpts your body because you're obviously like doing all of this like muscle work um, and it's contracting those muscles. I can also get stronger at the gym and lift more. And I'm gonna be doing six sessions going once a week for six weeks and then your results are 100% there after three months after your last session. I'm almost to Amanda's house. She's gonna come and help me film it. And I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go pick her up. I actually, I really wanna get out of the car and take some pictures of these trees trees really quick. Get in, bitch. We're getting abs. <laughs> oh, man. I'm... I didn't put anything on my face because I want her to see. Is that your real lashes? Oh, no. I put a little mascara on. No, but I mean, they're not fake lashes. No. They look beautiful. Really? They're beautiful. <laughs> 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 what does it feel like? Feels like, Are you feeling like you're getting shocked? Kind of yeah, like it feels like there's a bunch of trolls in there. <laughs> Woo. So it'll go through different cycles. You'll feel like that knocking and then like that buzzing. And it'll just kind of go back and forth between the two. Oh, oh that's. Is weird. the heat okay? Yeah. You feel it? Yeah, it's yeah. good. He's. Uh, uh. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling that this is what it was going to be. Just based off of what I was telling you about the, the thing that we used to do in school. So bizarre. Good morning. It is Saturday. I just went to Target. I grabbed some Starbucks. I got an iced Americano with heavy whipping cream and sugar-free vanilla syrup. My favorite. Otherwise, I just get coffee with cream. I quickly just wanted to show you my nails. I did these last night. I used, I forgot the brand. Maybe it was Wet n Wild and OPI. Turned out really pretty and pretty good. I'm excited. I, um, I don't really like getting my nails done by somebody else just because I want my natural nails. I don't want acrylic. I don't want a no chip. I just want regular polish. Um, but I'm really bad at doing my cuticles. I need a professional to do those. But the reason why I don't really like when someone else does my nails is because they're usually used to someone coming in that gets acrylic on or gets no chip or something like that and they just go crazy with the filing and that will just break off my nails. So I do have an appointment for next week Monday to go and get my nails done and this is what I was gonna ask for I'll talk with her and see and maybe just like let her know my concerns because I just I want my nails my natural nails to be as healthy as possible and I don't want a no chip I don't want acrylic I don't want any of that so we'll see and I'll, I'll keep you posted on that when I finally go and do that I don't know if I'm okay I don't see the light of day looking up to high your crown thinking that'll be your sweet escape these days gotta schedule the romance They say that love is a slow dance A short bike ride to the crib using no hands Oh shit, it feel like I'm floating But I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin Testing the water, she got my nurse tense Back when I ain't even have a purpose I was so eager to learn something 
dreams Anxiety bring out the worst to me Society paint me as enemy My niggas making it by that remedy I'm more occasional, don't do it regularly Backs under my eyes, weighing down heavily Mama been worried, the devil allegedly Deep in the plan, subconsciously wanted it since I was 10 I thought I was sharp on my scroll and my pen thinking dead So mama found she did alleged She told me that's not who I am But nowadays I put on for the fam See you when I can I'm surrounded by my feelings I'm stuck on a fabric Well I bet I perish with 140 acres She want the horse and the carriage A portion and portion of garbage I talk to the mirror I know that life's not the fairest I lost my can I can't pay off the bills with the blessing I sure I relate to the Reddit page It's feeling like money is everything Money is everything It's everything I need Till I lay my eyes on you What this is, yeah. But it feel like it's real, baby. I don't wanna pretend, no. I just wanna come clear, wanna see you again. This was everything I need, right? Not so fond of change, I'm too caught up in my way of thinking I get by on me, no, I don't need nobody, yes I was so naive, somehow I'm still all in on me, yeah, yeah Way too many times I let the ball drop Now I'm Steph Curry with the wrist flicks So they cold shoulders, never defrost No deal, but I pre-floss with the money tree And a deep pot, so I'm Cornell Ains with the rundown Bitch, I'm all in the field with the cleats off Okay, just got out of my workout. Um, today was a light day, so we go um, lighter on Mondays, heavier on Fridays. Halfway through our workout, we just heard the loudest banging, and all of us in the gym were just staring at each other like, what the fuck was that? It was just like a random thunderstorm that rolled in, and it's the first thunderstorm of the spring, so it finally feels like winter is behind us, spring is here, and I walked outside and it just smells <sighs> so good, just like fresh rain, I love it. So I am pretty low on gas, I need to go run and get gas, I'm gonna go home and shower and clean my house. Um, it's gonna be a beautiful day to clean because it's nice and warm out, it's a little gloomy, rainy, I'm just excited to go home and clean and <sighs> fresh spring feel.
Okay, bedroom is done. Don't mind our blinds. We still haven't ordered regular blinds in that one. One day I left the window open and it rained and it completely tore the blind. So yeah, but um, it's officially clean in here. Bed is made. I love when the sun comes in through this window up here and then it makes a shadow over there or not a shadow, but you know, the sun comes in over there and then it's on the ground too. It's just so pretty in here this time of day, which it's like mid afternoon right now. Um, closet is organized ish. I still need to go through everything even more and just clean out stuff. I feel like I do this every three months. I just go through it and donate stuff. Um, I actually have like three garbage bags in my car right now full of stuff that I need to donate, but yeah, let me know if you want a video on that. I opened up some packages and I wanted to show you just a couple of the things that came in. So I first want to start off with these sunglasses that I got from Chanel. These are probably the bougiest sunglasses I've ever ordered. I tried them on inside of Nordstrom uh, in the fall and then every time I've gone to the store, I've tried them on. So finally, I just decided to get them. So I just, I opened it up already, but I put everything back together just because the box was so pretty and this is what they put the receipt in and everything and so my vibe, I love it so much. So I'm just gonna try to open this while I've got one hand here. This sticker is like so thick and luxurious. this box I like that it's got this quilting here on the case this is one of the nicest cases for sunglasses I'm not like super into a bunch of designer stuff but I've always been into designer sunglasses so these are the sunglasses I know they look so basic and simple but that's honestly just what I like the top of them say Chanel just like that I just love them lenses like this they don't have the pads because then I can just slide it up into my hair and these just look like a good everyday simple sunglass. I love my Gucci ones so much, my oversized square ones. Um, and I love my brown ones from Desi. I love that you can see the Chanel right here. They're just so bougie and chic, but so simple. Mm, I just, I fucking love them. So I also ordered a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. I feel like everyone has these and they're so cute styled with like loose baggy 90s jeans and that's like pretty much all I've been wearing lately so I thought you know what let me just pick them up. I feel like a lot of the time they're out of stock and I feel like lately they've been in stock so um, I just thought I'd pick them up. I just got the low ones. I didn't get like the mid or the high just because I'm pretty short and if I wear these with shorts ever. I just know it's gonna make my my legs look even shorter if I had the high top. So I just went with the low one. Do this so you can see. I mean, you guys know exactly what these look like. These are nothing new. And then I got these sent to me from Katie and 30 Years. Thank you so much for sending me these if you're watching. One of the things she came out with were these black biker shorts. They are the best biker shorts I've ever tried. I say this all the time I feel but I'm very curvy on the bottom and I need something that will stretch with me while also keeping me locked in and doesn't pinch on my thighs and this does all of those things it also has a fabric where it feels like it could be for exercising but you could also dress it up if you wanted to I like that she didn't put her logo on anything so it doesn't feel like only you could wear it for working out so she sent me all of their new colors, which is really exciting. So this is the like dark charcoal. I feel like you can't really tell. Here we go. You can kind of see it here. This like dark charcoal color. This pretty beige color. Ready? And then the white, which I cannot wait to try these on with this hoodie and a self tan. Mmm. Thank you so much, 30 years, for sending me these. I cannot wait to try them all on. I need to put on a tan first. <laughs> okay, just made it to the gym. The lighting is so bad because the sun is setting right in front of me. I'm gonna do this HIIT workout and I'll see you right after. <sighs> that was intense. 
Look at how pink I am. I'm shaking. <sighs> and my hair is wet. Look at all that. Soaked. <sighs> Good class. Okay, I quickly wanted to show you guys my tan because Amanda and I went to our friend Ashley's and got um, a spray tan done. She does like professional airbrush tanning and um, I'll put all of her info down below, but she's incredible. We've had it done once before and I wanted to show you what it looks like right now. I'm about to go rinse it off actually. And it takes, I think, 24 hours to fully develop. So um, when I rinse this off, it's just like the color guard or whatever, and it's gonna continue to develop until tomorrow. So um, I just wanted to show you it because I'm about to go rinse it off and we went a little bit darker this time. Let's see if I can show you. That's just, you know, again, the color guard, but I'm really excited because it, it looks so good the last time when we did it. And also, I got samples for our sweets table and like our cake and everything for our wedding from Alley Cakes. This is the cute little box here. Cutest business card ever. It has that like matte finish like NARS packaging. Samples, let me open this up. And I'm dying because, oh my gosh, I wanna eat them so bad and I'm just waiting for Ruben to get home. He told me I could eat some, but I just, I feel bad just going ham and eating them without them, but it's cute. She's got her logo up here, and these are all of the samples. So we've got red velvet up here. These are peanut butter cup. These outside ones are chocolate. That's vanilla. This is, it says cocoa lime. So I don't know if that means coconut lime or chocolate lime, but I think coconut lime. These are vanilla latte, and then these are Oreo. I, oh my God, they smell so freaking good. And I just, oh, it's gonna be a cupcake night. I don't even care. I mean, I bet they're all freaking good. Look at them, look how beautiful this is. Let me zoom in on like the details. Even this one that's like the most simple. It's just so pretty. And the Oreo, the detail is just so pretty. And because they were samples, I was just expecting just regular simple cupcakes but she really went all out and made these look beautiful so i am so excited 